Yeah, man, Elliot Wilson contest, man, Los Angeles, California. Dollar sign. Oh, bro, what's up? Dollar sign, what's up, baby? I'm good, man, chilling, beach no, house wait. free time. Be, be, why, man? Why is it time for Beach House Free, man? Yes, man. It's time for me to drop a new project. The people been waiting. My six four just got out the shop. So what do we got here, man? The shop. What do we got me? here, man? We got that six four Impala. For me, it was a dream getting this car. I like this kind of more than my Porsche. Why? Because <laughs> it just makes me feel like, you know, every every video I was watching as a kid, watching Snoop and the whole Death Row thing, like, I finally got it, you feel me? I got it on the D's, you feel me? 100 spokes, you feel me? 16 switches. You feel me? All that. Oh my God, Three wheel man. motion. This is how you do a California car test, <laughs> You're trying to man. go for a ride or what? I'm trying to hear that album, man, Let's at go. Beach House, man. You ready? I'm gonna, play, I'm gonna play you the music and hit some switches. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> car test. Before we get into the music time, man, Beach House, man, that's your own personal brand, right? Can you talk a little bit about like what Beach House meant to your career? Beach House is, uh, is more of a meta, Metaphorical thing. It's not like a, a actual literal thing. You know, I'm dropping Beach House in October, obviously. So it's not about the summertime or none of that stuff that people try to like make it about. Yeah. It's like for me, like a metaphor for success. Cause when I was young, when I was young, uh, my mom and dad used to take me, my brother, and my sister to this lot in Palos Verdes, California, which is like a beach city. And like, we would get out on the lot, and my mom would be like, yo, my kitchen's gonna be here. You know, <laughs> the pool's gonna be here. We saw the vision. Yeah, we saw the vision. Like, me and my brother and sister, like, yo, our rooms are gonna be here. And then, long story short, my parents broke up. So everybody forgot about that shit, but I never forgot about that shit. So that was your standard. So, yeah, when I um, I made my project, I was like, it's gonna be called Beach House. I know you just teasing this joint with Gucci, man. You can't wait to get started, man. What is, yeah. what is this joint with Gucci man I heard right now? We're so about like, to get into uh, it. I got Beach House, the regular album, and I got Beach House, the um, deluxe album that I'm dropping as well. And okay. that's one of the deluxe cuts. Gucci sent me that verse the day before his wedding, which was yesterday. So, like, I'm like, bro, you still working before, before your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> before your uh, wedding and all that? But yeah. you know, you know, Gucci always gonna be doing his thing. So shout out Gucci and thank, th thanks to him for, you know, taking time so now out. Now you're giving us 20 songs, out. this is one of the bonuses? So there'll be another song, that's one of the 20? Yeah, there's gonna be more than 20. Like, yeah. I, I work every day, so I got a, a million songs, man, like literally. But for the album, I just like came down with 20. And like, I'm so excited about this one that I just had to play it for you first. So it's me, Gucci, and Quavo. It's called Pineapple. Beach house free, baby. Streets of California. This ride is crazy. Get it back. Yellow diamond ring on my fish like a pineapple. Shake like a Coke bottle. So I threw a dime out of shine on her. Grind on her. I might wine and dine her. Buy the bitch designer. A major, they mine her. Tie dollar sign. Beach house to the trap house. She might need a chiropractor. I'ma be the back out. Coop, yellow, white, yellow, wine, wine with Cinderella. Big booty, big bells. A miss lady got her shit together. Shawty seen my wrist, said it look like pineapple Shawty super thick, but she tastes like pineapple Eh, 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 pineapple Eh, 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 pineapple Shawty seen my wrist, said it look like pineapple Shawty super thick You're out here drawing bonuses out could be better than people's whole albums, man People's motherfuckers lead singles and shit, you like Bonus track just came together, like Elliot. You know I'm not saying? playing. I can't play with people this time. <laughs> my favorite, one of my favorite songs here is this song called X with YG. This is taking off, uh, Mr. Ty Dollar Sign. Good looking. Um, it feels good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I ever left because like I'm doing all these features that are on, you know, going crazy. It's funny because that song YG sounds excited too. Like, yeah, nigga, we back. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, no energy's there. Yeah. Now, let's do it. Let's get into that X. Yeah. Yeah. Shots free, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
about hitting switches, right? <laughs> How you living, nigga? How you living? <laughs> I'm on jet skis with nigga bitches. <laughs> Get my last city nigga bitches. Get these main skis for these nigga bitches. Yeah. That's how you know when it's all bad. She called me a text and I couldn't call back. But she imagine in her head I'm doing all that. I tell her I'm not. She like, why, G, you a thot? <laughs> Was there overall when you put songs together? Was you have overall because you do long albums? Like, is there an overall sketch you're going for when you put albums together? Or I make a whole bunch of songs, and then like certain songs, I'm like, all right, that's Beach House worthy. You know what I'm saying? And then after I put them all together and pick all the songs, then we go in and be like, how can we put this together? Start making an order. Once we see what songs sound good next to each other, then we come up with interludes usually, right? Yeah, but this interlude time- interlude game is pretty strong. Thank man. you. This time I did like <laughs> song interludes, so where it's all me singing. It's not like on sign language, I, I, uh, I had Ed Sheeran on there. I had- uh, uh, All the big names. Yeah, yeah a gang of, of people just on the- um, yeah. Interludes. Yeah, but this impressing time I people did it. with the clientele. Yeah. yeah, this time I just did it myself, so. Let's get in that message in the bottle, because that song, was, yeah. we already touched on that, that came out, but it's definitely a strong record. Message in, message the, in the bottle. Let me get a swallow. Fill it up a cup. Section full of model. Then we going up like it's a doozy. Drink it till I'm woozy. Know I'm out of that action. Feel like a movie Candy in my system Get it with the pistol Put a finger to a header That's crazy Any nigga with him I took in the blow a couple I just left that fast <laughs> <laughs> Just right there, dog. All right, all right. The world spins Rolling up a shit. strand I to get high enough to make my ass pop too strong for the zip lock. They like you gon' get us kicked out. I've seen the Houston in my wrist watch. Got a point at me when I pass by. Staring like she got a glass eye. Go piss outside. Short Dog came up with that song. And um, we was just chilling one night at the Atlantic studio over there in North Hollywood. And uh, it's just one of those songs about, you know, getting drunk and like doing dumb shit on your phone. So it's best that, <laughs> it's best that when you're, you know, when you're drunk, you stay away from your phone because you might text somebody that you don't really want to speak to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The so, young lady? Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, when I started my album back in December, after we did Message in a uh, Bottle, it was right after Message in a Bottle, I was in Dubai and I, I talked to my dog Pooh Bear, I'm like, Let's finally get together because we've known each other for years and just never like worked. So we finally worked and um, we came with this fucking crazy one um, called Famous. Then later on, fucking uh, Love You Better comes out. And after Love You Better comes out, under the comments, this fool John Mayer hits me, I guess, like, I don't know how I even knew. Maybe it's because I kept on mentioning him in interviews and shit, but he, uh, he hits me up. He's like, yo, nice artwork. I'm like, oh, really? All right, cool. So I hit him back and end up DMing him and end up telling him, like, yo, I want to come to your show. Brought me and my girl and shit. Uh, another night, I hit him. I'm like, I'm in the studio. What you doing? You in LA? He was like, I'm about to pull up. I'm like, serious? He pulled up <laughs> solo and uh, hopped man? in the booth. Yeah, hopped in the booth and hopped on this song with us. So Is that was like, record? yeah, that okay. was like legendary. And I started my album with it. And just the fact that he came solo and just was such a real one, it was like, wow. Like, I'm always gonna just stay me and stay regular, because yeah. you ain't gotta be like that. It's yeah, some yeah. people in this game that like think like they're on, like, motherfucker, you a human just like me and I'll beat your ass. So just to see, <laughs> just to see John Mayer on some regular shit, I'm like, Ooh, you, you yeah, yeah, like, right? yeah. Everybody wants to be famous. Anyway, anyhow, they worry about who they stepping under. Just as long as they reach the top. They just want to be Okay, wow. They just play. It's playing all the time. Nah, nah. That's John right there soloing. Oh, yeah. John played electric guitar. Oh, okay. They just want to be famous.
right there. Right. So what's your take on fame? Like, you know, you've been through all these experiences, right? Like, you've obviously had a lot of success, but I know you're still on the path for even more. Like, so just I observing get, so much and collaborating with so many different artists, like, what's your take on fame? Uh, to me, like, I just do music and like I happen to get famous and that's cool. And like shout out to all the fans and shout out to all the people that are excited, you know, and I'm excited too. And like, it's all love. But I think certain people take fame the wrong way and think it's this big ass thing and like start acting weird and start like, nah, bro, this shit is a fucking job at the end of the day. We're all regular people. Like, come on, take your dick out of your mouth and put it back in your pants. You feel me? Okay. <laughs> From the desk and dollar side. <laughs> One of the reasons why in the beginning I got down with Taylor Gang is because Wiz, out of everybody else, was like, he kept it regular. From the first time I met him when he had Say Yeah, when he was on Warner Brothers and he was smoking Swishers, he's the same guy today. Yeah. Like, all the money, at, at all his the highest, money, whatever. Yeah. All, he's the same guy, like, just cool, like, chill, smoke a joint, chill, hang out, regular shit, like, never thinking you're something, and that's what it's all about. And like, there's a lot of us in this game that are, are regular still and cool, but not regular, you know, because <laughs> <laughs> everybody knows who you are. But so what's it's this, all good. So what's this Dawson's Break record? What does that mean, Dawson's Break? Dawson's Breek. Breek, I'm sorry. Yeah, so Dawson's Breek, um, really, it would have been Dawson's Creek, but for legal reasons, it's ah. Dawson's Breek. <laughs> I mean, civil business and all that, but you know, we called it Dawson's Breek, changed the spelling in Dawson, yeah. so it has nothing to do with that show. But shout out to that show, because it was definitely a big, it was definitely a big staple, uh, you know, in my lifetime growing up. <laughs> um, what made you get Rocky in the joint? Because I love Rocky, and like, I always wanted to do a song with him. And uh, we were, uh, we linked up in London just randomly, because I saw him at Skepta's party and got his new number, and he ended up uh, having us over his crib that night. And I listened to his new album, played him my new album. And when I played him Dawson's Creek, I'm like, yo, bro, I need you on this. Like, this sound like your <laughs> shit. Like, this is finally like a record that's like tied dollar sign, but it's still yeah. mean enough to be like ASAP. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. So he hopped on it and you know it was it was definitely a blessing. Let me hear that. I ain't heard that yet, man. Uh, yeah. ASAP. <laughs> legendary for me because I always uh -oh. wanted to work with Pharrell. Skateboard P. Yeah, I went in the studio and he played this one beat. I'm like, nigga, that's it. Records, man. One of my favorite songs on the album is called In Your Phone. It's with me and Lauren Haregi from Fifth Harmony. And like this song is lit as fuck. You always in your phone. I 
feel like you do me wrong You always hit your phone I feel like you do me wrong Princess, you, what was the one you collab you, you featured on the record took off? I, I featured on Work From Home. Work From Home. And yeah. that was like one of my most successful records. Right? Yeah, which I was going to pass on for sure. But my daughter was like, Dad, do it. I promise you. And she was right. <laughs> That's like her favorite group, you know, Fifth she Harmony. Shout like, out to all the girls, man. Fifth Harmony. Yeah. Like, that was the one. Hell yeah. I love the word waves. Cause like waves really do get caught, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and some people can catch multiple waves, but some people just get stuck on one and wipe out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been one to just be able to like bounce yeah. around and yeah. do my dance. You feel me? What you want to? What you want to get into next, man? Um, as we hit we the, made this shit called four five. <laughs> we made this shit called "Don't Sleep on Me." Don't sleep on me. Yeah. This is for future 25 Don't sleep on me. Stop sleeping 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 on me. Don't sleep on me. Please don't creep on me. Don't sleep on me. No, don't let me find out. Don't let me find out. Don't sleep on me. Don't creep on me. Hey, got my peace on me. You know I'm crazy, crazy on you. Out my mind, ain't no telling what I do. Yeah, that's it. That's it. What's up, bro? What time you going to your party? Huh? What time you going to the party? The party, like at twelve thirty. What time right now? Uh, I'm I'm doing an interview right now with Elliot Wilson and shit. I'm just on a uh, four hundred five right now in the Lolo. You feel me? What's up, man? What up, boo? <laughs> What's up, guy? Hell yeah. Uh, I'll probably pull up over there around like midnight. All right, for sure. All right. Look. He just did that because we knew we had a camera guy backstage. Oh, God, <laughs> nigga, he called regular. You see, I didn't know. That was not planned. I did not text him. Hold up. See, I didn't text him none of that. <laughs> what else we got? Of course, uh, Futures on the, um, the other one that I dropped today. Uh, Don't judge me. Don't judge me with Sway Lee. On the legs right now, don't judge me. But now I'm a beat, don't judge me. I'm a papa seal in the morning. Lately I've been going through a lot of things. On the legs right now, don't judge me. But I hope now, don't judge me, yeah. I don't want it if it ain't a two-piece, yeah. Lately I've been going through a lot of things. Remember what we were talking about earlier? about people who I think is gonna have a career? Yeah. Sway Lee. Oh yeah, yeah, he's a bomb. I agree. Sure. I agree. Yeah. Love the collab, like how I look at music. I came in as a bass player playing in church, so I always collaborated with a drummer, with a keyboardist, with the choir director, ah, with the choir. So it's like I hear yeah, all yeah. parts, I produce. It's like parts. Like my collaborations to me is not about the name, it's more so about like the instrument of you know Wiz's voice or the instrument of Pharrell's voice and his beat. Like 
mixed with my my shit. It's just like all music. It's an instrument. Like it's nothing more than that. When people try to like act like they're special because I did this all myself. Cool, nigga. Dope. <laughs> I can do it by myself too, but like that's not the point. It might is be it, better to work like, with others. Like it's a right? dope fucking song at the end of the day, and that's all yeah. that matters, bro. It's like crazy. giving the people good vibes. So that's what I'm on. But do you th- but do you think but, but do you think that the artists know like how fa- multifaceted great collaborator you are? Does it get too much with the requests that people want to work with you? Like, how do you decide? And do you turn people down? Like, how does that work? I look at it like if the song makes me feel something, then I'll, I'll do it. And then if it doesn't make me feel something, then I pass. If Jalen, my daughter, is like, yo, dad, do it, then all right. Yeah, but uh, this is a little favorite. Another hit maker right now sounds special. I got my little brother on there, made in Tokyo, one of my favorite people. He's 24 hours, little brother. Um, I had to get Tokyo on this as soon as I, as soon as we did it and had the skirt, I'm like, we gotta get Tokyo. Like, he is the skirt, skirt king. I've been stressing, I've been up all night Had to beat them hoes alone, had to focus on my life, yeah I've been flushing this shit on my mind You ain't even got a test, you didn't know your mind Love, 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 Yeah, said I'm about to ride, I swear that's what she told me All she wanna do is lay Before we get to the studio, man, yeah. I gotta tell you, you passed the car test. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate Too it. Too many records, man. Appreciate it. What's wrong with you, man? So we uh, out, man. Ty Dollar sign, baby. Car test. Oh, yeah. Beach house free, man. You already know, man. Elliot Wilson, <laughs> let's get it.